the Amur tiger, the largest cat in the world and a powerful Chinese symbol, is threatened with extinction. But two researchers at the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies are turning to high-tech tools to save the tiger's forested habitat. There are many factors that are of concern that have caused its present condition. And part of it is an expansion of agriculture into that region, which limited the amount of habitat for the tiger. The, another one was the amount of hunting of the tiger that was done. And another one was the condition of the forest itself. Now, those three led the tiger to a quite low level at present. Only 800 Amur tigers remain in the wild confined to a reserve in northeastern China and southern Siberia. Professor Oliver and Xu Mei Han have been studying how different types of forest can affect the cat's survival. Our understanding of how forests grow has changed dramatically in the last hundred years and more specifically in the last two or three decades. The old theory was that the natural forest was this stable, closed forest with trees dying in the upper canopy and providing room for other trees to grow up through the forest beneath them. Now, scientists began questioning this, and now the predominance of scientific evidence and the predominance of scientists accept that forests are much more dynamic than that. Everywhere in the world that we have studied. We find that the forest is constantly subjected to various disturbances. The researchers have discovered that the density of the forest may be excluding some of the tiger's favorite prey, thus endangering its survival. But we are concerned that the recovery may be partly um, related to the condition of the forest itself. What happens is that in the last past century, there was very heavy um, harvest of that forest, timber harvest. So now the forest has grown up so that it's gone through the open structure and Shumei's research is showing that very much of it is in that dense structure. So now that the forest is all in that dense structure, it really doesn't leave very much room for the Amur tiger's prey to survive. The Yale researchers are working on a solution. Using a computer program called Landscape Management System, or LMS, they can design the ultimate habitat, incorporating areas for the tiger itself and its prey. Oh 或者是为了取暖之类 
草地，或者是这种稀疏草原来，嗯，来取食。Shume is mapping the tiger habitat in several ways. She's doing two things. The first is using satellite imagery we've obtained from various sources around the world. Then she will take the data from the Chinese Forest Service and put it into a landscape management system. So it allows us not only to develop a plan, but we can also show visualizations of it. We can show maps of it. It'll allow us to get a more complete plan as well as an understanding of how we can manage the forest. The LMS model shows that allowing the forest to grow densely and unmanaged actually works against the health of the tiger. It's somewhat of a race against time in that the more we insist on these closed dense forests and the less that we allow openings, savannas in this mosaic, the more we start to diminish the populations of species that depend on these openings. Today, with a little help from its friends, the future for the Amur tiger is a bit brighter. Would I say that I'm optimistic about the future of the tiger? I would say I'm hopeful. It's a question of if we can get the science right and we can get it enough habitat, I'm hoping that we can come up with robust mechanisms for maintaining these species. Do都都有共同的兴趣所在，就是说我们想要保护东北虎，防止它，防止它灭绝。嗯，我觉得只要是我们嗯互相沟通，而且共同就是说做一些研究，然后呃找到呃找到正确的方式，应该我觉得东北